Welcome to this short demonstration video on Sage 200 Evolution. Are you finding it difficult to get an integrated and holistic view of your business? If so, it is time to revolutionize the way that you do business with Sage 200 Evolution. By bringing all the aspects of your operating environment together, Sage 200 Evolution is a business management solution that gives you the ability to control your financial situation as well as your relationships with your customers, suppliers, and employees. Some of the built-in modules include general ledger, import cost allocation, inventory control, project tracking, system audit manager, unit of measure, tax module, and a whole lot more. Additional modules that can be purchased include annuity billing, bill of materials, branch accounting, multi-currency, multi-warehousing, procurement, pricing matrix, just to name a few. Your base package allows you to create an unlimited number of companies and you may purchase as many users as required by your company. Cash books are unlimited and the system allows you to create an unlimited number of financial years. Let's take a quick walkthrough of the system to understand its key functionality. As mentioned previously, the system allows you to create as many financial years as required. Once you reach the end of the financial year, all you got to do is click on the Add Financial Year button and a new financial year will be created, keeping all the previous financial years intact for you to report on. Let's take a quick look at the customer's master file. One of the good features on the customer master file is the linked accounts feature. This feature allows you to group multiple customer accounts into one head office account, allowing you to run a consolidated statement, grouping all the individual customers transactions together. The incident history tab allows you to create incidents between your customer and yourself giving you the ability to run reports on previous interactions with your customers. As you can see, I have an additional fields tab as well. This represents additional user-defined fields that I've created as a user. The system gives you the option to create user-defined fields for various modules on the system. If you look under customers, I have one called director's name. All you got to do to create a user-defined field is select the module, provide a name, and then you can stipulate whether the user-defined field is a string, a date field, or an integer, depending on the type of field you're creating. Once the user-defined field is created, you may navigate back to the module where you created it in and provide the information. All of these additional fields are available for reporting purposes. The look and feel of evolution is grid-based and all of these grids that you find on each master file or any of the screens can easily be customized. All you got to do is right click on the grid and select customize grid columns and you have access to several columns from the customer's master file, which you can drag and drop onto the grid. All of these grids do have the ability to be exported into Excel by clicking on the Save Grid button. Choose your location to store your document. Once it's saved, you may open the Excel spreadsheet and all the information that's on your grid will now be in your spreadsheet. Taking a quick look at the inventory master file, just to show you some key functions. One of the great options in Sage Evolution is the ability to track stock items in various lots. Once you select a product to be part of a lot, 
you have the ability to also set an expiry date for the lot and you may track each product per specific lot. The system also has the ability to create various units of measures. I'm going to quickly take you through to the creation of units of measures. And you have the ability to create your own units of measures together with your own conversion factors and assign that to an inventory item. Quickly taking a look at some of the reports on Sage Evolution. The one key feature with regards to reports, reports are customizable. It's as simple as making a copy of an existing report, giving it a name, and you can then go into the design mode and customize the age analysis or any type of report according to your own specifications. The good part of creating an additional layout is that you maintain the original layout, which does not get affected, and you can run any of the additional layouts that you created. Processing of cash books can be done using the bank manager uh, module or manual capturing of transactions line by line in the cash book batch. If you open up a cash book, you have the option to go into the bank manager and import a bank statement file, which will pull all the transactions in for you. The system does a validation of the batch before it actually posts it into your financials. The power of reporting on Sage Evolution comes from the Sage Intelligence reporting module. This module allows you to create your own customized reports. Just to show you one of them, I've got one opened called the Financial Report Designer. And this allows you to customize your financial reports according to your requirements. If I go into the Manage mode, it allows me to customize the existing layout according to my actual requirements. Very simple and very user-friendly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, a very brief run-through of Sage Evolution, and we look forward to the next video.